Hello and welcome again to another episode of the Points of Articulation and today we're going to look at the Republic gunships. Now these are seen in Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, the Clone Wars film, and the TV show. It's a really cool ship so let's go over the mold and the paint. Bloop. Now I do have two of them. Uh, this one is the normal one painted in the colors of the Republic, maroon and tan. And this one I think is a Shadow Trooper or something. I forget. But, uh, this one's pretty neat too, but for review purposes, we're going to look at this one, because all the lines are hit with a black wash. So anyway, the mold on this is really cool. We have a little door right here, and you can see right through it, so that's cool. All these lines right here. The cockpit does open, and I always have a trouble getting it open, but there it is. See one seat, and there should be one here, but they didn't put a lot of detail into it. Underneath we have the door that slides shut, but this one doesn't. And I have a version of the uh, Black Series, they made one, and that door does shut. And I'll get to this one in the future, because it's a totally different mold. So then we have a gun right here that sticks out. More detail even on the bottom, the peg hole. So we'll go around to the back. Nice there. Missiles. Nice line work down here. On the winds, there's a lot of line work going down. And right here is a weapons pod. Like a guy sits there and fires like a green laser. There should be one over here, but they didn't put it in. Actually, two of them. One on each side. Uh, for the front, we have two guns. That lead goes up to the cockpit. Oh, I forgot. Underneath the wind is also detailed nicely. A lot of work went into this bad boy. And now our screws are here and here and it's the same detail on this side as this side so that's real nice so next we'll go over the paint okay the paint for the Republic gunship is mostly this tan cream color and then we have maroon painted a black wash over the whole thing which is great because it fills in all these lines and really makes a ship pop and now besides the maroon and the tan we also have gray we have a, uh, let me see if I can get this, because it's kind of neat. Like a World War II fighter. There's like a, you know, like one of those women, they call them like bombshells or something. There's a Twi'lek. And I hope I'm saying that right. The girl with the two dreadlock, dreadlock, squid tail things. I don't know. But it's hard to make out, but there she is. There's a Republic symbol. We got uh, blue windows, maroon cockpit. Then we have green with uh, grayish guns back here another gray gun underneath there's really nothing but we have a lot of maroon and that just about does it so let's look at the other one okay for the uh, other version we have the republic symbol we have our maroon the only thing different on this is that it's this dark gray instead of the tan so we have green in the front uh, no woman this time boo uh, light gray for the gun, and then light gray for these guns, and, uh, I think light gray for the missile launchers, but I'm not sure. I think they just didn't cover it with the black wash. Don't know. But I think that's about it for this guy. There's really not much paint to it. Okay, including the guns, this guy stands almost four, uh, three and a half inches with this gun if you count everything so it's close it, it's a nice ship and it's all heavy the whole thing except for these guns this gun the cockpit and this gun back here is metal like it's hard just like all of them you have a little peg here put the stand in and this one's a little tight which is good and they look good together so thank you for joining me this was the Star Wars Titanium uh, Republic gunship and uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye.